Good morning and welcome to your news update. The DAX went up by 100 points yesterday. The pound went up from 120 versus the US dollar to 124. Um, there was serious a May um, given a speech, as we all know. <clears throat> In my opinion, it wasn't how the press interpreted the speech. It wasn't that this hard and cold Brexit will come, um, no matter what the consequences. That was the expectation up front. That was why the pound went down so strongly. Um, in my opinion, that was not um, the um, takeaways from that speech. The takeaways from that speech is that she still wants to have maximum access to the single market without being a member of the single market. So there will be some backs and forths and there's still some room in those negotiations. And uh, Theresa May, in my opinion, has shown that she is very, very open to, to any negotiations. So there will be no hard and cold Brexit coming. And that is, in my opinion, the reason why the pound went up. In 10 days, there will be the Chinese New Year. Xi Jinping, the Chinese president, visited friends in Davos. As he said yesterday, he held a very value-oriented speech yesterday. That is in comparison to Trump, who is a very business-focused politician. He does not do any value politics. And at the same time, there were Chinese officials and academics trying to reach out to Trump to help interpret remarks that he has made in the past days, especially those regarding Taiwan. There were two newspapers out of China, state-driven newspapers, uh, that said that they will take off the gloves if Trump continues to be as or talk as he did. And that was a mixture of very soft Xi Jinping president speech in Davos and very harsh articles in the press and in the media. So clear communication, there is a, um, there is a clear stop for, for China and that seems to be the one China question. Putin at the same time said that US intelligence agencies must have practiced in the Ukraine and now they do the same, try to make a soft coup against Trump in Washington. That's what, Trump, uh, what Putin said. And that's also uh, Trump's opinion that these anti intelligent agencies are somehow working against him or somehow like along those lines. The VIX, and that is, astonish, um, is astonishing. Um, still, the VIX, the volatility index for the S&P 500 index is, near re is, is very low and the positioning is a near record shorts that are in those markets. So if you have near record shorts in a volatility index, it means that everyone expects that there will be smooth sailing going on in the equity markets. But is that probable? Trump has said that before he was elected that equities are in a huge bubble. And um, now Trump has another market um, analysis going out, and that is that the US dollar is too strong. It's killing the US industry, he said in an interview with, uh, with the Wall Street Journal that uh, leaked out yesterday. The reason regarding, uh, according to Trump, is not the Federal Reserve, which is norm trying to normalize uh, their monetary policy. It's not the US economy, but it's the Chinese Yuan. It's dropping like a stone, he said, and that is the reason why the US dollar is so strong.